Hi, my name is Karina, and welcome to the Karina Chronicles. Today I'm going to tell you which books I plan on reading in November, and I am way too optimistic again, so let's quickly try to show you all of those. <laughs> So I'm sorry for the lightning. <laughs> I'm like forgetting that it's getting dark so so quickly. So I need to change up my schedule and film in the mornings. But for now, we'll have to deal with this. I'll just do. So as usual, I have five books I want to read. I always have a TBR of five, but I already started two books in October that I also need to finish. So I wanted to quickly show you them. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton, which needs to be finished. The night you see this video, and I am the night before, and I don't have any free time after filming this. So am I going to succeed? Probably not. Am I a little bit angry at myself? Yes. But, uh, well, nothing that can be done about it. And we have Italians for Beginners, which I also promised to read in October and didn't do. So these two are probably going to be finished in the first week of November because I feel guilty and I need to finish them quick, quick, quick. But then we have five books for November. And the first one I'm really, 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 really excited about, but this is also probably going to be the only book I read in November furthermore. And that is A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin. This is the fifth part in the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin, which is my favorite book series. I've read them when I was younger. I actually read this book immediately when it came out in Dutch. So I think that's around 10 years ago. <laughs> and I decided to reread all the books in English. I read the first four, first four and I want to read this one this year as well. But it has almost 1100 pages. And I know it doesn't read quick. It doesn't read quick. It's not like, oh, it's 1100 pages, but you read like, 100 pages per hour or something? No, it's like 50 pages per hour. So 1100 pages is going to take me 22 hours. I don't know where I find 22 hours in this month to actually read this, but still excited. It's a five star prediction for me because last time I gave it five stars. It's the last book that is currently out in the series. So after this, I can say again that I'm waiting for the sixth book. I mean, I have been waiting for like 10 years, but then I'm waiting again. Can't wait to start it, <laughs> but also can't wait to finish it. That's weird, right? I mean, I don't want to finish my favorite series, but also, yes, I want to have finished this and be like up to date and finally have read it all in English. So excited that I'm going to read it in November. The next book is one that I also really need to read in November. So I hope George R. R. Martin is going to write a little bit of quick reads and I can fly through it because this is a review copy and it's A Curse of Kraus by Lauren de Droog and this is her first novel actually. She would self-publish it but uh, the publisher that sent me review copies picked it up and decided to publish it themselves. It is an English YA, fantasy YA with a little bit of romance in there and I know nothing about it except for that it is the first English book published by a Dutch publisher just only English, so there's no Dutch copy available. And I think that's interesting. I don't know what to think about that. I do really love the cover and I really, really am excited to read this. I know that there are going to be four parts in this series and three novellas, so, pfft, so much. Uh, but this is the first part and I really want to love it. But it's also 500 pages <laughs> and a fantasy. So, well, uh, who is here being optimistic? It's me. And the next book that I want to read, if I ever get to these books, probably not, but okay, is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. You might guess it, but it's also a fantasy, an English fantasy. How many pages would it have? Oh, also almost 500. Why not? I don't know what I'm doing, but... I don't know. I read Lee Bardugo's um, Shadow and Bone and King of Scars, which is weird because King of Scars was supposed to be a new series. You didn't have to read the rest of the series. It's not true. You can follow anything when you read a book. Um, but this is her first adult book. 
and I wanted to read it. Also because the second part is also almost coming out. It's hellbent or something. And um, if I really like this, I want to be able to read the second part as well. So excited. Impossible to put down, says Stephen King, which is the king of thrillers. So we'll see. The next book is something completely different. It's not an English fantasy. <laughs> it is a Dutch dystopian literature. And that is Het Lied van Europa by Leon de Winter. This book is actually uh, out today when you see this. Uh, but we sold it in the bookstore already for a few days and I bought it immediately because uh, I'm very excited about this with uh, some of my friends. It's taking place in the near future in the Netherlands and um, a very dystopian world. And a lot of crazy people that are actually very present in our society at the moment uh, make a dystopian society out of us. <laughs> so I think I'm going to be very scared. It's also called like the title, the Song of Europa and the picture are very much Greek mythology. So I am curious to see the references to that. And um, I like his writing style from the last book that I read by him. So really curious. And there's a lot, a lot to do about this book because writing a dystopian in the near future in the Netherlands is quite scary because our society is going crazy, to be honest. There's so much happening and everyone is angry and a lot of protests. And I sometimes feel a little bit scared we're going in this direction. So reading this is probably not the best idea, but I'm doing it anyway. And then the next book that I want to read, if I get to it, is um, English science fiction, but translated to Dutch, so that makes it a little bit easier. Short story collection, The Stars Above by Melissa Meyer. The last part in the Lunar Chronicles that I haven't read yet. The, these are short stories in the same universe. Uh, the series is actually ended with the books that I've read, but this is the last part. Uh, in that universe, well, there's also a separate series about the cyber and the robots in there. Uh, but this is the last part in the original Lunar Chronicles. So definitely need to read this. My channel is named after the Lunar Chronicles, so I cannot not read this. And I'm excited to do so, finally. So if something crazy happy happens and I can finish those... What are the six books I just mentioned? Seven? Six? Six books I just mentioned. Then I will also try to finish the Lunar Chronicles. And that was actually it. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell, you will be notified whenever I post a new video. Leave down in the comments below what you're going to read in November. I need new ideas for the next year. I hope you're also excited for a bookmas that I'm going to do again, which is obviously December, but we're getting there. I mean, this is November already. So I hope you are excited for that. Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you'll have a lovely day filled with books and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I am so excited for these books. I didn't expect that I would be able to start reading them this year. So that they're all on my TBR now is really exciting. What are you going to read in November?